Alright guys, here we are at the Singapore Grand Prix, ready for another setup. First of all, I just want to say thanks to Toronto Tigger for providing this setup. It um, really helped me out a lot in the ARL League race we had around here. Um, a, lot, a few changes like the balance and the gears. Uh, the gears in particular were very helpful because uh, they were much shorter and they uh, seemed, to see, seemed to suit the, uh, the track a lot more. So it wasn't as awkward with my taller gears. But, um, yeah, as we head out on track, we'll see what this bad boy can do. Running up to the final corner here, you want to carry as much speed as you can, shift down to fourth, and then use up your curves to get the maximum amount of speed on the run up to turn one. Break about 10 metres before that overhead sign there, second gear, and up to third, then down to first again for the left-hander. Open DRS, use your curves just a little bit just to get a good exit. Now, shifting in the second gear, it's a bit of an awkward corner that one, it's hard to carry speed and not hit the wall. Use up half your curves on this straight here as you run up to the end of the first sector split. Brake just as you see the sector split appear, second gear up to third. Now down the first gear for this, this hairpin corner. Ease on the power, DRS, down to second gear, clip the apex, don't take too much curb or you'll bounce yourself into the wall up here. Coming up into the Singapore sling, you want to break uh, just after that second last marker there. And coming through here, very easy to lose the back end just as I showed there, second gear, then down to first. Try not to touch the apex again there, get a good exit as you run up to the third sector. And your breaking point here again is the the sector split, turn in late, ease on the power, DRS, and then running up here, try and take a wide entry in, swoop in, and then take it in second gear, try not to take too much curve there as it'll uh, disrupt the car. For fourth gear, down to second and first if you like. Easy to hit the wall through here and get unsettled by the bumps of the curves. Missed the apex a little bit there, but I think it cost me about half a ten. Now finishing off the lap, Try not to hit the curb there, cost you a little bit of time as well. And that is a 138.485. Very, very hard to get a lap in at this track, as you can see. Um, the lap that I did do wasn't perfect. Um, I saw how good I was up into the middle sector, and I just crapped myself pretty much. And I tried to play it a bit safe and lost myself a little bit of time. So I think there's another two, three tenths left in that in that lap. But um, the setup is definitely there for a, a 37 for someone who's um, got enough time and dedication to um, put the effort into, into getting it. But uh, yeah, that's it from me guys. Remember to leave a like if you like the setup. And I'll see you guys later for another video sometime soon. Bye bye.